come to Budin or Budin today. It's like a Scandinavian inspired coffee shop. It's actually really cool inside and they have very bougie coffee. And Andrew and I were looking at the menu and then we realized there was another menu which had normal things like a latte, a cappuccino. Um, we both have an Aeroplex and it comes in this cool beaker. Very bougie coffee, but we're enjoying ourselves, living our best life. Yeah, this is my spreadsheet. So for drinks, I'm going to rate Budin a 3 out of 5. They had a few drink choices, but there weren't really any exciting drink choices in terms of flavours. They had very bougie choices, as in they had the Aeropress in different kind of flavours from different countries. So they had the Kenyan, the Ethiopian. Um, so that was cool, but you know, I love a caramelised latte and that wasn't on the menu. <laughs> For food, I'm gonna give Budin a 5 out of 5. So they had a selection of pastries like croissants and everything, and then they also had dough donuts, which are the best donuts. And then they also had a kind of collaboration with The Blue Light, which is, I guess, another restaurant that made the food for Budin. So they also had brunch items, like they had pancakes, and they had the egg avocado sandwich that we had, which was amazing. So they get a 5 out of 5 for food just because that sandwich was incredible. It looks incredible and it tasted incredible too. And then music, I'm giving Budin a 3 out of 5. There weren't songs that came on that I was excited about. It wasn't like one kind of mood for the coffee shop. So they played like the Jackson 5, which I, I don't know, I don't want to hear ABC in a coffee shop. So they get a 3 out of 5 for the music. Aesthetic, they get a 4 out of 5. I thought it was very cute, it was very minimalist, it was very Scandinavian. And I love that they had the Aeropress on a tray with a beaker, with a mug and a glass of water. I thought that was great and that's great for Instagram. And then the Budin logo, which is in the window, the light up logo, that is really cool as well with the plants at the front. So aesthetic, they get four out of five. Seating, they get a three out of five. There were nice high tables with some stools. And the window seat where we were sat was cool because it was a bench and then high stools. And then they also had communal tables with benches. But there just weren't any interesting kind of seating. Like there weren't any sofas or soft seating. For pricing, I am rating them a two out of five. I just think for the Aero price, it was cool, but $5 just for that. I wasn't very impressed. And the lattes didn't actually come in a large size and they were $5 too. So I wasn't very happy with the pricing. But overall, I did love food and I thought it was an interesting place to go. The logo's cool. The kind of atmosphere is cool too because they have a pop-up shop at the back of the coffee shop. And the Aeropress was definitely an experience and I loved it. So definitely would 
would recommend going to Budin. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you have subscribed to my channel. I'm gonna be doing more coffee shop tours because I really love doing them and I got out of the habit of doing them just because I've been so busy. And make sure you check out the other coffee shop tours that I did, Perp, Birch, they're all really great coffee shops in New York and if you're visiting New York, you definitely need to go to some coffee shops. It's a very New York thing to do and it's great to just go with friends, get coffee and chat. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next coffee shop tour.